Hi boys and girls. It has been a fun and exciting week filled with learning. And in this video, I want to review some of the things that we talked about. So for language arts, let's review kindergarten wonders, unit one, week one. And for math, in Eureka, we will review what we learned in lessons 15 through 19. One of the first things I taught you this week was this word. It says the. No matter how you say it, the or the, it's always spelled T-H-E. T-H-E. The or the. T H E. The or the. The or the. The or the. The or the. The leaves can change. The shark can swim. The ball can roll. The car can win. We studied the letter M. M, map, m. Mm. We practiced tracing and writing the letter M, uppercase and lowercase. And I taught you that the letter M looks like majestic mountains. We practiced something called isolating phonemes, which means hearing individual sounds alone. I showed you Elkonin boxes as a tool to separate each sound in a word. M, a, d, mud. We heard M at the beginning of words. J, E, M, Gem. And we heard M at the end of words. We talked about what you should do to make new friends. And what not to do. In math, you did all kinds of things. We studied the numbers four, five, and six. This is how we write four. Start at the dot. Here's how you can write a five. Start at this dot, down, curve, go back up and align. Down, curve, back up, make a line. Others do it this way. Line, down, curve. Line, down, curve. And here's a simple way to write a six. Line down, curve around. Line down, curve around. I like to make my sixes a little more curved. 
curvy than that. I like to go like that. You can find missing numbers simply by counting out loud. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. What comes before one? That's right, zero, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. We practiced writing the numerals one through six in order. What is missing? That's right, it's four. What is missing? That's right, it's five. We can even count backwards from six. Six, five, four, three, two, one. You can sort things into categories to answer how many. One, two, three, four, five, six. When you have to count something up and down, that means it is vertical. When you count things from side to side, that's called horizontal. You can count things when they're scattered. It helps to color them or touch them or cross them out. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can count four five or six things in a circular formation. Remember, make a mark where you start or touch it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thanks for working so hard and participating. Good luck on the quizzes. You'll do great.